So hey, this is game one of the poor tournament. Um, I'm a bit hyper, I've just got back in um, after 12 hours by the time I've picked everyone up and dropped everyone back. Um, this is my first game against Gary and the Jomsvike. It's just a couple of pictures here of his army while um, he was getting them all out. And just to say, I've not played the Jomsvike before, so this was a hugely steep learning curve um, on how they use Wrath and how they generate it. I thought it was something to do with combat, and um, if they win combat, they'll gain Wrath. But it's not. Basically, they've got Saga abilities. You can choose certain effects to happen. Um, if you don't take that effect, they'll um, they'll gain wrath. Um, I was told beforehand some guys were kind enough to say, "Whatever you don't let them have wrath," and that was basically my plan from the beginning with this lot. So, looking at the setup, um, starting on his left hand side, his top side, uh, top left, he has four Dane Axemen. They're his Hearth Guard. Eight warriors, his warlord, another eight warriors, another eight warriors, and then four hearth guard and eight warriors behind them. And me from the left, I have my twelve levies, eight hearth guard, ten warriors, warlord, four warriors, and um, ten warriors at the end. Yeah, I think he got the roll to go first, and I had to quickly earn about cyber abilities. So we invoke some wrath cyber abilities. And yeah, these are quite harsh. From all the way back here, his warlord, um, the warlord is yelling and that, managed to kill off three of my levy. Um, basically, I have to lose three models, or um, he gains, I think, one or maybe two wrath. Uh, these are my somewhat shocked levies, of three of them just uh, dissipate and die next to him. So on my turn, all I do is just doing a shim bit of shimming around there. Uh, move up my four man warriors just so they protect my wall all properly. Um, I move up my hearth guard a bit just so they're ready to hit anything that jumps out. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, I play trapped as well, um, which you'll just see in a sec. And there's the fatigue I place down on his right flank, just hoping to uh, weaken it a bit maybe. Um, if he spends the actions to remove the fatigue, I'm not too fussed. Um, as long as I complete, keep playing some down, he can't remove all of it. Um, he just doesn't have the saga abilities to do it. Or so I thought. Um, this is turn two. Um, in his turn, he moves some units up, um, and then he uses two of his abilities. One of them again, he kills off an, another three models, else he'll gain some wrath. So my poor levy unit at the back there is um, whittling down. And he also uses an ability to remove two fatigue, or again, he gains one or two wrath. So I allowed him to move the two fatigue. Um, in my turn, I just moved my hearth guard around. I've just noticed a little gap there appearing to his warlord, and. Uh, See, hoping there's a chance I could break through. Um, while my warriors really start grouping together to form a better shield wall, um, and my levies just move up, oh, they're just there to die, they're, they're not too fussed in what they do with them. Um, so here I've managed to get some trap down, uh, they've got the three fatigue units in the centre, the hearth guard down the bottom was already fatigued. Um, again, if you look at my, my top pit, pit top of the picture there, my levies unfortunately have lost more men, again to his Wrath abilities. Um, oh, it's such a nightmare. I have to get forwards, but you just look at that line. I don't know where to break through at the moment. Um, so I'm just biding my time, losing models, um, just hoping there's an opening for me to charge through in a minute. So by now on turn four, um, as you can see, I've lost all my levy now to that poxy um, wrath ability he was using. Um, I don't know what else he did in this turn, I can't I can't remember offhand. He's probably removed some fatigue again using that ability. I've noticed he's got one wrath, so I'll probably let something off. But other than that, I'm just desperately trying to push forwards now and uh find a place to get through to his uh warlord. So again I played down some more trapped for my turn four and uh quickly rushed some of my troops up um in a vain attempt to push those guys off the hill just to see if I can get an opening there to the warlord. And with a little success, my warriors managed to push uh, the opponents off. Um, I'm not sure if I took any casualties. I might not have got away like that, I think. So come turn 5, my opponent again uh, rallies his troops, uh, kills off more of my troops of that wrath. My little bodyguard unit there protected my warlords down to one man, so again he got that through. Really annoying that ability. I mean, I must have lost 15 or so models from this. Oh, just a nightmare. So, I. Uh, I've had enough, I'm going to lose some big warriors in a minute, so I'm just going to throw the ball here and go for it. So what I'd end up doing is um, using my 
uh, hearth guard to charge in, hit the unit protecting the uh, warlord, force them back. I think I do a lot of damage to these guys. I might have even wiped them out. And then with my remaining moves, I've managed to get to the warlord. Um, so I've got no more pictures of that because I was getting a bit excited trying to push my way through to the warlord. So this is how the game ended. Uh, my husk Carl's up there, just surrounding his warlord really and chopping him to bits. And that was it. Uh, first game to me. And what a game. Oh, the wrath, the wrath of these guys. It was a hard thing to overcome. I, mean, I was losing three models a turn. What, 15 models? Just a wrath. And, uh, and I couldn't give him the wrath because I was, had a look at his abilities to find out what they did. And oh my goodness, aren't they deadly? So the idea with these guys is really just to get in quick. But he knows that, and he's got a block of, what, four eight-man warrior units? And it's just so many bodies to push through. I don't know what to do. But luckily, he had a unit just in line with him. So I managed to squeeze my way through and get myself to the Warlord. Uh, Gamera's a great guy to play. Um, I was enjoying myself, even while I was uh, having so much chopped off me, uh, especially with playing uh, an army I've never played before. He took it really easy with me, really, and uh, I thank him for that. And his models look fantastic as well. Um, I don't think the pictures here really do them justice. But he's done a great job with them. Great job and great guy to play. Uh, looking forward to the next game, really. So, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe or like the post. Just uh, keep me pushed on and keep doing these. Um, the models in here are a mix. Mine is obviously Crusader and uh, a couple of Renegade. And my opponent was Gripping Beast Miniatures. Um, I think he had a few Crusader ones in there as well. So I hope that's all you need to know. Please drop in any comments. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.